Good morning and welcome to Patriot TV from Green Mountain High School. I'm Mia, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm William, I'm in seventh grade. Kevin, in seventh grade. Flynn, I'm in eighth grade. Tyler, I'm in eighth grade. And today we're doing TikTok dances. Hi, I'm Kevin, I'm here with... James. Do your best TikTok dance. Okay. Thank you. William, today I'm here with Thomas. Give me your best TikTok dance. Kevin, I'm here with Jackson. Do your best TikTok dance. Okay. I'm Kevin, I'm here with Aussie. Do your best TikTok dance. Thank you. Yep. All right. Hi, I'm Kevin, and I'm here with Asher. Do your best TikTok dance. I'm Liam. Today I'm here with Kevin. Give me your best TikTok dance. Thank Kevin, you. I'm here with Flynn. Yeah. Do your best TikTok dance. Thank you, I'm Kevin. I'm here with Preston, Tyler. Today we're doing TikTok dances. I'm Liam, today I'm here with Brian. Give me your best TikTok dance. Yeah. I'm Kaya. I'm Piper. And today we're going to be asking people to figure out the gibberish. What's your name? Maya. What grade are you in? Eight. Answer this gibberish. Hot please? Hot please. I don't know. <laughs> Apple juice! Um. What's your name? Emery. What grade are you in? Six. What does this gibberish mean? Uh. San. To Claus. That's correct. Your name? Will. What grade are you in? Six. Answer this gibberish. Uh. Dora the Explorer. Correct. your name? Daphne. What grade are you in? Um, six. Answer this gibberish. Yeah. Hi, Nancy. Um. Uh. Hi. I don't know. What's your name? Savannah. What grade are you in? Eight. What does this gibberish say? Creek As Halloween approaches on Thursday, there are some rules for costumes. First of all, costumes must follow the Dunstan dress code and can't distract you or other students from participating in class. Please no head coverings such as face masks or full fa face paint. Face paint is allowed as long as it doesn't cover the entire face. No costumes that depict violence, guns, or alcohol. Also, no weapons, no matter how fake they look. Finally, no costumes that are offensive or show a stereotype towards cultures, genders, heritage, or religions. Please be respectful. And now here's AC with clubs and activities. There were a few fun activities that happened across the school last week. In Computer Science 2, Mr. Starkey's students began to build a website. Meanwhile, Mr. Starkey's broadcasting students walked to the high school to learn how the high school program operates. Miss Miss Waterhouse took her students on a theater field trip to the Arvada Center. All right, hi, I'm Miss Vandenberg, and I brought the tops. Uh, I'm Ethan, and I brought Ethan. Uh, Ethan, can you bring the tops? Miss Vandenberg's second period won a contest to make a candy salad. Uh, I'm Isis, and I brought peach rings. Finally, Miss Lieberg and her students participated in a mountain bike ride across the community.
Also, from Mr. Orphan, the Post is accepting student work submissions for publication. If students want to be published in the upcoming volume, the work needs to be emailed to Mr. Orphan by October 29th. Examples of acceptable submissions include poetry and other creative writing in any language, a top-notch CER, digital art, student-made video games, a historical analysis or anything social studies related, science experiments or hypo hypotheses, mu movie, music, or product reviews, opinion, editorial. What's your name? Uh, Fiona Stroud. And what grade are you in? I'm in sixth. Okay, are you ready for your riddle? Yes. Okay, the more you take of me, the more of me there are. What am I? Um, is it footsteps? Yes, good job. Thank you. I'm Lydia. What grade are you in? Eighth. Okay, ready for your riddle? I'm tall when I'm young, I'm short when I'm old, and once a year I make heavy pumpkins light. What am I? Um, I'd say a candle. Yeah. What's your name? Mackenzie. What grade are you in? Seven. Are you ready for your riddle? Yeah. Okay. Each morning I appear to lie at your feet. All day I will follow no matter what, how fast you run. Yet I nearly perish in the midday sun. Shadow? Yeah. What's your name? Emma. And what grade are you in? Seventh. Okay. And I have a riddle for you. Are you ready? Mm hmm Okay. I have a body, arms, legs, and a head, but I'm heartless and I have no guts. What am I? Um, a skeleton. You got it right. Good job. What's your name? Elsley. What grade are you in? Eighth. Are you ready for your riddle? Sure. Okay. I'm a ball, but I can't be kicked, thrown, or tossed. What am I? I? Like, I? Good job. You got it right. <laughs> Okay. 10 interesting facts about Dia de los Muertos. Fact number one. The Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos, is a national tradition in Mexico, but is also celebrated in many other parts of Latin America. Fact number two. The Day of the Dead is celebrated in Mexico on the 1st and 2nd of November, every year. Fact number three. The Day of the Dead is a celebration to honor the lives of those who have passed on. Fact number four. The Day of the Dead has nothing to do with Halloween. Fact number five. As part of the Day of the Dead celebration, people bring flowers, decorations, and favorite foods of the dead to the cemetery as an offering. Fact number six. Private altars are prepared in people's homes that include offerings or ofrendas for the dead. Photos of the dead are also included to draw their souls to the altars. Fact number seven. The legend of the monarch butterfly believes that butterflies carry the souls of the dead on their wings. Fact number eight. Marigolds, often referred to as flowers of the dead or flores de muerto, are believed to attract the souls of the dead with the scent of their bright orange blossoms. Fact number nine. Calaveras de azúcar, or sugar skulls, and pan de muerto, or sweet bread for the dead, are often included with the offerings. The sugar represents the sweetness of life. Fact number 10. Papel picado is used as decoration and the holes cut into the paper allow for the souls of the dead to pass through and visit. It is also believed that the delicate nature of the paper represents the fragility of life. Before we end this episode, here's a look at the school menu for the week.
Skibikia, Real Life Sigma. Oh, I'm not playing games. Mister, do you have a charger? Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful week, Dunstan Patriots. What's your name? Mr. Schick. Um, what grade do you teach? I teach eighth grade. Um, how disruptive is the ghost during your planning period? The ghost? The ghost is super disruptive. It keeps like running up and like telling dad jokes. It's it's super weird. What's the ghost's favorite um dessert? Um, I don't know. Ice cream sandwiches. Breaking news: A spirit has been terrorizing Dunstan Middle School, but not in the way you think. With dad jokes. If you ever see him or her, contact eight 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 at news dot com.